Genders of noun. Genders of noun is an important and beneficial topic as it increases your vocabulary. Gender is derived from a Latin word genus which means kind or sort. As gender indicates whether a person or animal is male or female. By having only male and female, the genders of noun types are not limited to only two. There are four genders of noun which are going to be discussed one by one in details. Genders of noun are of four different kinds. They are masculine gender, feminine gender, neuter gender, and common gender. Masculine gender. Masculine gender indicates that a person or an animal is male, as we all know that masculine refers to male. Consider the following examples which shows male gender of animals and humans. Boy, man, lion, tiger, father, dog, manager, and many more. Feminine gender. Feminine gender indicates that a person or an animal is female. Feminine refers to female gender. Consider the following examples. They show feminine gender for the male genders of those previous nouns. Girl, woman, lioness, tigress, mother, bitch, manageress, and many more. Third type is the neuter gender. Neuter gender indicates neither male nor female, as it has no gender. Consider the examples pen, car, phone, carpet, cloth, wall, table, fan, and many more are neuter genders. They are things somewhat non living and have no male and female. Fourth and last kind of gender is the common gender. Common gender is a gender which indicates that a person is both male and female. For example, student. A student can be male as well as a female. The same is the case with doctor, teacher, artist, scientist, child, parent, person, and many more. This table carries out examples showing all the three kinds of genders of a noun. For example, boy is masculine, its feminine is a girl, while we can call them both child is a common, man, woman and person, parent is common for father and mother, spouse is common for husband and wife, you can call brother and sister as siblings. Son and daughter are oftenly called child. Next, and the last root of roots of noun is the numbers of noun. We studied all the roots of noun in previous videos and details. There were four. There were kinds of noun, cases of noun, and genders of noun. Fourth one is numbers of noun. We will study it now. Let's see. Numbers of noun indicates whether a person, thing, or animal is singular or plural in number. From this definition, it is clear that numbers of noun can be categorized into two categories, singular noun and plural noun. Let's move to understand them clearly. Singular noun denotes that a person, thing, or animal is singular in number, or simply, it is only one in number. It is not having s aided at the end of its spelling. Plural nouns denote that a person, thing, or animal is plural in number, or many in number, or simply, they are more than two in numbers. They are having s, es, i, es, 
at the end of their spellings or in case of irregular nouns they have changed spelling or pronunciations like child, children, etc. As we studied that, there are two types of nouns, singular and plural, according to plurality in numbers. So there must be some rules in order to change a singular into plural. Here are the rules for changing singular into plural. 1. Some nouns are the same in both singular and plural forms. It means that there is no need to add or change the spellings of the nouns to make them plural. For example, deer, tuna, Salmo, fish, sheep, and trot are nouns which have same spelling and pronunciation in both singular and plural forms. Second rule is that for some nouns, you have to change the word completely along with its pronunciation. Now, these are irregular nouns as they do not follow any rule for changing a singular noun into plural noun. For example, person is singular, its plural form is people. For child is children, for ox is oxen, for foot is feet, for tooth is teeth, and for mouse is mice. For some nouns, just add s. Now these are regular nouns. They follow a specific rule of adding s at the end of nouns to make them plural. For example, for hand is hands, rabbit, rabbits, key, keys, clock, clocks, football, footballs, for door is doors. Rule 4 says that for some nouns which end with s, x, z, ch or sh, you just have to add es. For example, for box is boxes, pitch, pitches, wish, wishes, boss, bosses, buzz, buzzes, and glass, glasses. Rule 5 is somewhat complex. Nouns ending with f. You have to change f to we and add es. For example, half, halves, loof, loofs, elf, elves, leave, leaves, shelf, shelves, and for thief is thieves. Thanks for watching video. If you have any problem, question, or confusion in any grammatical structure of English language, Kindly leave your queries and comments. Thank you.